Okay, in this screencast we're going to have a look at how we would add an RSS feed to one of our collaborative spaces, whether that be a, a learning space for students or a design space for teachers or even a community space for our parents. Now RSS feeds, um, RSS stands for really simple syndication and it's an easy way to access information and updates from all your favourite websites without having to visit each website individually. So the RSS feed is a, an internet format and it automatically delivers the content that you ask for from the website to your Ultranet space and it does that regularly whenever that content on the website changes. So the most common websites that offer RSS feeds are things like blogs, um, wikis, newspaper websites, uh, television websites, weather websites, um, sites, websites quite often. So there's many out there to pick from and it's just a matter of finding the RSS feed on the website that you're interested in and then getting the URL and adding that onto the page. So this page here is a design space for principals in the Keyless and Auburns network and they have a page of RSS feeds around leadership and they, these um, feeds bring in current information from all of these various websites. So in some of my searches I was having a look at this website called Connected Principles and thought that that might be um, a great website to bring information in because it's regularly updated. So we're going to bring in the feed from this website to our alternate space. Now when you're looking for RSS feeds on pages there are a couple of icons to look for and they can often look quite different. So if I just have a click on this Google search, I did a Google search for RSS icons and as you can see there's a variety of them that are used on different websites. Now this orange uh, background with the white lines is the most common form for the RSS icon to be in but as I scroll down you can see some of the different ones that are available. Sometimes the words, the letters RSS will appear on the page and occasionally you would see the word or the letters XML and that would indicate an RSS feed as well. So these are the kinds of icons you're looking for, most often orange, sometimes other colours. So if we go back to our Connected Principles um, page, RSS icons and feed links are usually at the bottom of the page. So you've got to look carefully at the website. And When I scroll down to the bottom of this page, we can see here there's the icon indicating that this is a, an RSS feed for this website. So what I want to do is right click on the word blog entries there and scroll up to copy link location or copy the URL of that RSS feed. So on some browsers this is Firefox and it will say copy link location, on other browsers it may just say copy link. So we'll just click on that to copy that link and now I'll go back to my RSS page in the Ultranet space and I need to add the RSS application. So I'll go down to the um, global navigation bar, onto the actions menu, up to applications, begin to type in the word or the RSS, click on the add button and drag that across to where I would like it to appear on the page and I can see that the application RSS within Ultranet is the only application that comes with pre-installed RSS feeds. So here are two um, feeds, this one to Discovery News and then there's a little line there and this one to News Bytes or National Geographic. Now I don't want those feeds so I'm going to go into the um, cog up the top here to the configuration button and bring up the dialog box that allows me to delete those feeds. So this little button here, the little red one on the end, deletes those feeds and then all I want to do is add the plus to bring up my own. Now when I paste in the URL I can see that it says the word feed at the end. If your URL says either feed or it has the letters RSS or XML in the URL then you know that you've actually got the feed, the correct URL. So there's a few other options here. I could give this a particular title if I wanted to. Um, it will come up as connected principles and that's fine for me.
If I wanted to show the feed title, I can leave that. I can leave the published date of each entry, the feed description, any images that come from that website and the names of the authors. And I can also determine how many feed entries will come through. So I get the choice of one through to nine. So I'm just going to drag down to nine. And I can decide on how many of those entries are expanded. One entry through to all nine of them. And an expanded entry gives you a little summary of what each of the entries is about. Now I can align my feed and I'm going to align that to the left and I also have the option of creating publications with particular headings and having that appear at the top as well and I could select those if I wanted to do that. So I'll just click on save and see if my feed is coming through. Successfully updated that setup so I'll return to full page and I should now see the feed from Connected Principles appearing here. So there's the feed, there's the, the latest feed date, here's the expanded entry, here the one expanded entry, and then I've asked it to display nine entries, so here's the previous nine entries. And entries for uh, RSS feeds are chronological, with the most recent appearing at the top. So to follow the conventions of the other feeds on that page, I'll just go in and make some changes. So I'll go back to that uh, configuration button and I'm going to remove some of these options so I'm not so worried about the publication date. I do want the feed description so we know what it's about. I'm not interested in an image or an author because I can gain all of that information by clicking the link and going to the page. And I don't want any of my feeds to be expanded. So I'll just save those changes and we should see that reflected in the feed. Return to full page and here's my feed now. I have just the description here. At the top there is where I would put the title of where it came from. And it came from the Connected Principles blog and now that RSS feed is set up and all I need to do now is change the look and feel of that box to reflect the, um, the other feeds that are on that page. So that's how we add RSS feeds to our Ultranet spaces and this is a useful way of bringing updated information into our spaces for students, teachers or parents.